I'm gonna get this saddle in. It's about 35 or 40 yards. I'll step it off once I get done. But when I do this, I pretty much just try and guess around what distance I'll be shooting up on a tree when I'm in a squirrel hunting situation. So I don't get too overly technical with it. There's my first shot. Height's not too bad. So if I just move it over some and try and get it closer horizontally because the height's not too bad, I can tune that up once I get closer to the center of the target. Don't have to walk down there for that one. I can tell from here through the scope it's about three or four inches high at this far, so I'll probably bring it down a little bit. I don't want it shooting too high because I'm not I'm not going to be shooting really far. This just could be my coon and squirrel gun, but mostly my squirrel gun. Must move it a little bit too much because I'm about three or four inches low, so I'll adjust a little bit. And this is a pretty nice rifle scope, so it probably is very sensitive compared to what I'm used to as far as what each click is. That one was a lot closer. So I'm gonna walk to the target and show you guys where it's hitting. Should only take a few more shots and it should be dialed in. And then once I get it sighted in where I want it, I'll try and shoot a group and see how accurate this gun still is. Just need to go up a little bit more and a little right. I moved about five clicks each way and if it hit where I think it hit, it's barely just moved and it's already grouping pretty good. So I have to just keep moving it that way. And I want to be able to hit an area about the size of a quarter at this distance. That way I know if I get a good clean headshot on a squirrel, 
I can take it. Well, I might just leave it where it's at because I was looking at the wrong hole from my scope. I'll show you where I hit. So I'll take another shot, aim it in the same spot, see where it hits and see if I need to make any adjustments. But if it hits pretty close to that again, I'll just shoot four or five shots in a group and show you guys how accurate it is. And then it should be good to go for squirrel season. Only other thing I need to add to it is I need to get another swivel stud for the uh, stock sling. Well, took another shot. Looks pretty good from the table. So I'll go up here and show you guys where it hit and then I'll try and group them as best as I can. Shooting off that steady surface shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna pick another spot. I'll show you here where I'm gonna shoot and try and group them a little bit and then I'll probably be done because it should be good enough for squirrel hunting. I'm gonna aim right there. Covered those holes in my finger just to give you guys a size perspective so you know how big of an area I'm shooting at. Now I'm going to step off and see how far I'm actually shooting. Stepped it off and it came to exactly 45 yards. And for the situations I'll be in, I don't need to be any closer or further out. It should be pretty good for shooting up in a tree at a squirrel. Decided I'm going to do one last test shot. I'm going to go get a bottle cap and sit on the target and see if I can hit it. Now, if I hit this bottle cap on the first try, I'll be done for the day. I'd say it's accurate enough. There's the top where the lid was. Here's the cap. Should be good enough. Good enough for squirrel hunting.